Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you 10 different ink techniques that I like to use to show value. I'm by no means an expert at this. These are just a couple of techniques that I like to use that I think have helped me in um, showing better value and um, differentiating between darker and lighter areas in my art. And I hope you enjoy. Trim sketchbook. I just made a video starting the sketchbook, so definitely check it out if you haven't yet. And let's get into it. So, for most of the techniques, I'll be using this micro and fine liner, and then for some, I'll be using this Pentel pocket brush pen. The first technique that I'll show is hatching, and hatching is basically just a bunch of straight lines all kind of parallel going in the same direction, but this can be used to show value by uh, making lines closer together to show dark values and then spacing them farther apart to make it lighter, and this can also change with the line thickness. And so this is really great for doing flat areas, but it's also great for doing curving areas as well. As long as all the lines are going in the same direction, you can kind of show value with that. And next is cross hatching, which is similar. It's based on hatching, but you're just doing multiple layers of it going in different directions. And the important part is if you want to make it look neater, you want to try to make all of your starting points kind of like on the same edge. And then they're all going in different directions, but then each layer of hatching will kind of still be like all the lines will be parallel to each other. And again, this can show darker values by doing more layers of the hatching in more directions. And you can make it lighter by having less and spacing them out more and so again this can be used for flat areas as well as curved areas depending on the direction of your lines so next is contour line and this is similar to hatching but instead of using straight lines you're going to be making lines that curve with the form of the object which is basically the 3d shape of the object and the direction that your lines are flowing in will kind of help the viewer see the shape of the object uh, more clearly and again if you make the lines closer together it'll look darker and then farther apart it'll look lighter next is cross contour so this is similar to contour line and cross hatching again you're basically layering different um, layers of doing contour line in different directions to kind of show the form from many different dimensions almost so you can show kind of the form of the shape vertically and then horizontally and then even more directions if you'd like so basically the more lines that you're putting there um, the darker the area will look and then um, the farther apart the lines are or the less that there are the lighter it will look and so i'm really generalizing these shapes but if you make it neater it'll be a lot more obvious um, the shading that you're showing and next is stippling so stippling is just making a bunch of tiny dots and again if these are more concentrated the area will look darker and the more spread out they are or the tinier the dots are the lighter the area will look so stippling is really great for doing subtle shading a lot of these other lines you can still kind of like see the lines very distinctly depending on how thick you make them but with stippling it's really good to get really into the details and make your shading really fine without it being too noticeable like the spaces between them so here as a little demonstration i'm just quickly doing a little sphere it's not perfect but just to kind of give you the idea of how you can show darker areas and lighter areas with stippling So next is scumbling, or some people call it like scribbling almost. So this is just kind of you scribbling with your pen. No, um, really, there's no right or wrong way to do this. And the closer together your scribbling is, the darker the area will look and the looser the lines are and the more far apart they are, the lighter it will look. So I just did a little sphere and some little areas to kind of show you. And this is also really good for showing texture. Next is similar, but it's just like little circles. So I'm just doing little semi-circles with each other. And this is really great for showing texture. Um, I like to use this when I'm drawing like leaves or bushes or stones or things like that. And um, you can really show the texture of an object while also showing the value of it. Basically, again, when you put the, put the shapes close together, they look darker and then farther apart or thinner lines makes it look lighter.
and finally i will be showing you just lines so this is similar to the circles thing you're just doing a bunch of little lines going in different directions it's almost like hatching but it's not as neat as hatching this is just a bunch of lines in different directions to kind of show texture while also showing value and it's really just dynamic and fun um you can do this like for buildings or for the texture of like a jacket or something like that really just up to you and there are many many more techniques beyond these these are just kind of like the basics and next i will be showing you kind of the two main guiding principles for all of these techniques and many many more so the first one is density so this is also known as concentration and like i've been mentioning for all of these the closer together your marks are the darker that area will look and the more spread out they are the lighter that area will look and this is just shown through the density of your strokes and over here, the next one is line variation. So with your pen, you can make many different line widths. So this is just a fine liner. So it may seem like you're only limited to one line width, but using pressure, you can make thick and thin lines. And then here at the bottom, I've used my brush pen, which can get a larger variety of lines with pressure and which side of the pen you're using. And this can be really great for making areas look darker or lighter or showing emphasis. And so here you can see all of the techniques one last time and to end this video i will be demonstrating some of these in a piece that i recently made so you can see examples of how all of these techniques are used I hope that these tips were helpful and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming really soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!